Catherine converted after 9-11. In fact, she's only been a Muslim for two weeks. She had a privileged Texas upbringing, private schools and tennis lessons, and now works in PR. I mean, it's a big change, you know? It's a change, and it will come step by step, and uh, developing my spiritual um, ality will be the best. It will, it will come when that will come. Go ahead and get your water to your comfortable temperature. Wash your right hand first three times. Oops, that takes this off. Yeah. Try to take uh, your jewelry off so it can, uh, all the water can get all areas. Okay. Catherine has signed up for Islam, but has she read the small print? Coaching her through the basics is Nadia from the mosque. Lesson one, washing before prayer. In Islam, um, it is important for a Muslim to help guide other Muslims uh, in, the, in the right path. And uh, women in, in the mosque uh, will go up to you and, and you know, tell you, you need not to do this and this and this when you're, and it's only to help you and stuff. Like I came in, I was wearing toenail polish and fingernail polish, and basically when you do, we do um, your purification of your body. Um, you have to, you have to not have nail polish. That was one thing. So you can, the water can touch all parts of your body, and that was just another thing. And, uh, you know, but I still go get manicures and pedicures. I just don't get the polish. <laughs> Are you putting the bead below the target or on the target? On the target. Put it just a little bit below, because I think you're shooting a little high. David turned Muslim while he was in the Air Force. From the start, he insisted on doing things by the book. He got a matchmaker to arrange his marriage to Najma, his Moroccan wife. Najma was shocked to discover that David, the convert, was very particular about how a Muslim should behave. When I married him, he was so strict and so many different things. I had a really hard time accepting, he's telling me what to do. <laughs> I was raised as a Muslim, now he's telling me not to do certain stuff. And when we met, I wasn't wearing my scarf that time. And so, uh, I start wearing my scarf. Well, it was, I, asked, I asked you before we got married. Yes, I said, no, I said I will work on it. Scarf. Yeah, I said I will work on it, but I wasn't expecting to start wearing right away. And uh, I wanted her to wear the hijab. I wanted, well, I want to, I want to practice the religion properly. Um, you know, and uh, I think to a certain extent, maybe I was uh, a little too strict about things, yes. uh, simply because being new to it, I was uh, very zealous. It was I extremely like, strict. No, not extremely. Not I long. think so. Yeah, it was yeah. very, very strict. Yasmin, the convert, can spot a Muslim mistake at 20 paces. The women aren't praying shoulder to shoulder, so she makes it her business to set them straight. She believes American converts can have a clearer view of Islam than born Muslims. I'm not claiming myself to be better than a born Muslim, but basically because we're studying it for the first time ourselves and we're going straight to the books, we're learning the truth of it and we're able to know the truth from the false more than sometimes the, the born Muslims. I think that we have a unique opportunity to help the people that were born into the religion, to maybe encourage them to go back to the fundamentals of Islam. Do you want me to do the call to prayer? Or just go yeah, to prayer? do the call to prayer. And then the Meanwhile, Catherine, the new recruit, is being instructed in the art of modesty. I'm not giving up my identity, I'm not giving up my personality, I'm still the same person inside. I'm just covering up um, the physical parts, you know. These are sleeve covers. When you put these on, they see they cover your arm and they're really pretty with the lace 
See, I like the lace. Yeah. I, I personally do like the lace, just because it gives that little femininity right there. Your clothes are not supposed to be sheer, <laughs> and they're not supposed to be revealing. Right. And then whenever you do your arms up, of course it falls all the way down, and that's supposed to be covered. So that's why you have oh, these. Okay. Okay. But, you know, that's if you want to. That's right. You feel like it's the right time to do it. You don't have to necessarily. It's the good thing to do. It's good to be plain and simple, but then again, we're females and we want to uh, be, you know, dressed up or dressed down or, you know, having some kind of coordination. It's just in our nature to do that. But besides modesty, there's something else on Catherine's mind. I'm not looking forward to my family finding out. <laughs> How are you going to tell them? I don't know. I mean, like, um, <laughs> you know, like how they do in the movies. Hey, Mom, I'm a Muslim. Pass the peas, you know. <laughs> so if Texans can be Muslim, could America turn Muslim too? I think the only thing holding back millions more is education. I think America could be a, a Muslim country and I think it would be a very good one if it did. Do you think George Bush would ever convert? Oh, I, I rather doubt it. I think it would be great if he did. I think it would be, I think the world would be a lot better off if he did. Maybe we would back off of some of these rather ill-advised uh, imperial adventures overseas. I think in a lot of ways that Islam could save Americans from themselves. Uh, whether it'll happen or not, I don't know. I think that the American society should not be afraid of what would happen to their country if Muslims were to become the majority in America. Because I believe that would benefit America in so many ways. Hey, hey, you guys come here. What's this green leaf? I'll drop man, Sissy. Who made this leaf? Look, this, this like an elephant. Who created this, Nene? Allah. Allah made this? What about this one? Who made this one? Allah, mashallah. Allah created everything, didn't he? You can follow up the issues raised in this program at channel4.com slash believe.